Oh, my fallen parents. How I miss you. Batman, we've got to... Oh, you're still doing this, huh? You two fight like cats and dogs. He's just cranky because I pointed out that a rich guy with no powers in a bat suit is cosplay. Damn it, Superman, is this more of your hilarious commentary on how I have no powers? Hey, hey, this isn't all about you. Green Arrow is also a powerless muggle. What? No, we wanted to explore uh, the relationship between Superman and Batman. So, uh, yeah, we'll see their friendship and how it grows and how it falls apart and then fixes itself up. Well, first of all, I want to say that Aquaman deserved it. Uh, secondly, he deserved it. <laughs> um, I asked this of Kevin and Tom. They said they didn't really answer. Um, uh oh. So if if something crazy happens in Dawn of Justice, Dawn of Justice, will it be reflected in this upcoming special? Um, being that we've seen every shot of Dawn of Justice yeah, already, I'm sure you have. Um, <laughs> we made a point to write it. No, um, you know. We have no idea what that movie is, so if it reflects in there, we've already written it, it's almost all shot, so nothing we could have done reflected it unless... Maybe they're doing reshoots based on our special. Exactly. It's very possible. That is very possible. Jeff Johns is involved in both. He probably took our material and then used it for the movies. Just straight up stole it. <laughs> yep. this, this one has the most linear story of all the specials we've done. I mean, this is still Robot Chicken. It's still a lot of crazy sketches. But we've all each tried, you know, the third Star Wars special, we tried a little bit of a linear story. This one, a little bit more of a linear story. So uh, that being said, there are, there are sequences in the story that I'm looking forward to them seeing. You know, I don't want to, I can't give anything away without giving away the sequence, but... I will say that if you enjoyed Mr. Alfred Molina yes. uh, as Lex Luthor and who performing didn't? Sexy with Lexi. His high school <laughs> talent show rock band, right. uh, you will enjoy the third special when uh, there is a callback. Yes. Yes. But again, as I was uh, teasing before, there are things that got cut for either time or whatever, you know, there was a, a sketch that I wrote, that instead, I'm just gonna say, instead of Joker Venom, he created a Jerker Venom. Oh, no. and, it, and DC approved it. it went, I, I thought, every way along the lines, I thought, as I was writing it, I was laughing, going, there's no way this is gonna make it in the show. And it went through all the parameters, and at the end, it got cut for time. Can you reveal any, who's playing who? Um, in the special or in, uh, in the special, it's our usual cronies. Uh, you know, Seth is our Batman and Brecken's our Superman. Um, you know, we have Alfred Molina coming back as Lex Luthor. Um, our main villain in this one is uh, Jonathan Banks. Uh, so he's spectacular. What's that? As Mike. As, uh, yes, as Mike. And he's going to be <laughs> offing people. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of some of the others. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's pretty much our, our Weird Al. Weird Al was, oh, that's right. was in as uh, Rubber Duck. <laughs> and, uh, Just obscure, <laughs> obscure things. Yeah, and uh, Alex Borstein's Wonder Woman again. Is she Reverse Wonder Woman again? She, like, reverse she, Wonder Woman will not be. I will maybe make a cameo. Let's put it that way. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're doing a multiverse thing, so there's a good chance that Reverse Wonder Woman, and we should actually yeah, have her actually show may, up I in the background. We do have her. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just another Superman I found on Earth B. I brought muffins. Muffins. Another do you have? Do you bring muffins too? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we break the multiverse? Is this good or bad? Bad! What's the most yeah. obscure character you put into this? Ooh, that's oh, tough. Man. We got that question uh, before and we didn't know how to answer it. Um, I know. Batmite's in it. That's uh, a good idea. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, probably not super oh, obscure. Oh, um, uh, the DC uh, logo. Oh, Johnny DC. Don, Johnny DC. <laughs> Johnny DC. <laughs> there you go. That's got to be it. That is that is by yeah. far the most. You'll see him. You'll Sounds see him great. in the trailer that we uh, debuted today. Great. He has a little cameo. You'll see in the trailer that at three o'clock today. Or yeah. He, Johnny DC, and he's wonderful. Yeah. It might be. Might it be might be my favorite. It might be my favorite moment of the special. What's his power? <laughs> he. He doesn't. He really does, have yeah. Much he, power. He's just the logo with a head and hands and feet on him, and he runs around. Yeah. DC approved! I don't know how to describe him beyond that. And there might be an alternate universe Johnny DC as well. So, yeah. Here at Comic-Con, what 
others might think are obscure, we'd be like, oh, come on, yeah. Booster Gold? Yeah, of course he should be in there. Exactly, yeah. that's what I mean. But to the average person out there, they're like, who? However, um, this special, we've you know, gone crazy, and uh, I keep comparing it to, it's like the uh, Crisis of Infinite Earths of the Robot Chicken specials, because we cross boundaries, we go across to other dimensions, we open up portals, so we're using a lot of characters you don't normally see, or at least versions of the same character from other universes. Did you create your own alternate universe, or did you use the ones that are in DC canon? I think uh, we've created at least one of our own, I think, oh, didn't we? several. Several, yeah. <laughs> Again, like it's the, tough to see what it cuts down. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, wait a minute, DC might have an all-monkey. I think they do, don't they? Yeah, they do. But we, so. we, we found their, their best ones to go to.